back my friends it's your girl rose of jericho coming at you today with another video um excuse the mess y'all see i tried to distract y'all with some pretty lights because my room is a crapshoot so today i am going to be talking about a fast that i'm doing today i just ate a nice good full course meal not a full course meal but it is a good meal and then i finished with some really really delicious funyuns and flaming hot doritos because i will not be eating for the next seven days yes you heard me i am not eating for the next seven days i have done a fast like this before um this will be my fourth time doing this I'm not even gonna sit here in front with y'all. Some of the times I've done it in the past, maybe one, the one and other, two, one and two times I've done it in the past were out of really bad um, self-image issues. This time, low-key related to self-image, but also I kind of wanted to do a purge and come back to self. Um, so I'm also not gonna be on my social media or anything like that too. I think. I think I'm going to also halt like um, how much I've been looking at my crypto apps and purchasing cryptocurrencies and stuff too, just to kind of stay away from all of it because it all makes me anxious. It all makes me very jumpy and I, do, I don't need, I don't need to be that. So, um, this marks the beginning of day one. Oh, I guess I'll also just tell you how I do it. Um, when fasting, what you want to do is go and see your doctor and stuff first. Make sure that you're okay to do this kind of stuff. I don't because I'm pretty much a healthy individual. I don't be having them kind of issues like diabetes or anything like that. Um, I haven't had issues of that nature or like um, just pre-existing conditions. You don't want to be fasting and your body can't handle it. So what you want to do is go shopping. I went shopping today for my big giant water bottle at the Dollar General and I couldn't find it. I was very, very hurt. So I'm going to be probably ordering one on Amazon or making a trip to Walmart at some point this weekend soon because um, I can't keep going to the kitchen to fill up a glass. That's just dead. I need something big that I could sit right here. I could just continuously sip on. So... You'll do that. I'm particularly, I, I like to put things in my water, mostly lemon when I'm fasting. So I drink a lot of lemon water. I'll also do cucumber. I'm thinking the first day, I'll first one or two days, I'll stick with lemon. Um, and then by day three, I'll add in cucumber. I don't know why. I think I just want to do it that way this time. So once you have your lemon, your water, your cucumber, that's all you really need in your giant water bottle. You're gonna wish you had it. You're gonna need to drink a lot of water. All right, so now for the best part, um, for my coming back to self series, we exiting out all of this social media. I do have a couple of projects I need to post on social media for, but my rule is we do not scroll, we do not check up on, we don't do none of that. We get on, we do the job, we leave, peace out. So that is my plan. I already have the things I'm gonna be posting on my social media. I'm thinking of captions. I'm not being distracted by a single thing except to post what I need to post and X that out. I'm not interacting with you hoes or nothing. That's, that's it. I will probably keep with my self-help stuff. So like I'll still be on my astrology apps like Chani Nicholas. I'll do my um, co-star app and stuff. And I also get my little one twos in the morning that'll tell me, you know, basically what to look out for the day or for the week okay so i guess that's what i'll do as i'm figuring out i'm trying to figure out exactly what my plan will consist of while i go on this journey i'll check in by like day three check in by like maybe day six again day three uh, I'm gonna, i might do three different videos day three a day five and maybe a day seven beginning of day seven or breaking the fast um, I have done a 10 day fast before. Honestly, it's really not that bad. 
The worst part is the first couple days. Day one and two, not so much. Is that day three and that day four? Specifically day four. Um, I remember the last time, the time before the last time I did a fast, I woke up so sick. I had a, the keto flu, which will happen. Anybody goes into ketosis? I think that's the word. I hope that's the word. Mm -hmm. I tried. But um, when your body goes into keto ketosis and it starts like eating up everything else because it hasn't had food, I was throwing up green bile. Um, expect the green bile. That's not so bad. You might need to incorporate, if you're more active, you might need to incorporate a smoothie in the morning. Your body can't handle it. That's what I did. And I, my body still went into ke ke ketosis. It did what it needed to do. Um, but listen to your body. If you get that sick, you might have to incorporate like a little something, a little more sugar than you wanted to just because your body absolutely needs it. The whole point of this video is today to come up with a plan for some structure for my fast, to keep me busy, to keep me to connect, connected to my body, to keep me connected to self. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna start with a 30 minute meditation ritual. Um, so yes, day one, 30 minute meditation ritual. I think I'll also write what else I want out of this fast. So journal topic. I'm going skating that night, so I think that's a phenomenal way to um, to reconnect with self. So I'm gonna write that down. So I have skating, dancing, the check-in, morning check-in. I take horrible notes. It's I don't know how I got through college. The gen ed. I went to school for theater. All right, you guys, rather than have you watch me struggle through making this entire list, that's like 24 minutes of footage that honestly, I just can't bear to let you sit through. I'm just going to read you the list, um, what it ended up being. So for day one, I have a 30 minute meditation ritual and a journal topic on what do I hope to get from this fast. Day two, I'm going skating and dancing to connect myself to my body with a morning 10 minute meditation and check in on how I felt about day one. Day three is be naked, be free. So I'm going to take in my body that day and think of ways that I can treat it better. Um, so that means coming up with new ways of eating, regimens I like to follow, workout regimens, etc. Day four, I am going to go and see my ancestors. That means I'm going to be visiting grave sites and bearing gifts. Um, day five, uh, as you all know, we were going through a retrograde at this time. Um, I think it was June, early June. I want to say it was early June. But anyway, um, during that time, I think, it, yeah, it was early June. Um, so the things I wanted to kind of go over on day five was basically, you know, trying to figure out what discoveries I've made about this retrograde so far, what wasn't as it appeared to be, and how can I adjust for different outcomes. So day six, I make a detailed plan. Um, I do not run from clarity. I try to figure out in what ways I haven't been direct about what it is I wanted in life um, and how to kind of push forth with that. Um, I guess making some goals and stuff too. So that was day six. Day seven, approximately 10 p.m., I break the fast. So a couple of things I wanted to reflect on were how am I different from where I was before? For? How do I feel? Um, and how do I plan to stick to my commitment to self going forward? And that completes my list for the length of my seven day fast. All right. So let the fun stuff. All right. So I guess let the fun stuff begin. And I'll see you all on day three when I'm naked.
And I'll be naked on camera for you guys, but you won't be able to see anything. Buy your crypto, buy it cheap. It's your girl, Rosa Jericho. It's, uh. <laughs> Why would I get a slogan? <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you on day three. It's your girl, Rose of Jericho, reminding you to buy your cryptocurrencies. No. This is the final one.